Okay, question 28 says, Kaya spent one of four of his money on buying school uniform for his daughter, one over three on books, and two over three of the remainder on food. The rest of the money was saved. What fraction of the money was saved? Now, in order to solve this, he spent um, one over four on um, uniform, okay, and um, one over three on books. Now, the total spent so far, it's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3, and this will give us an LCM of um, 12. You have um, 3 plus 4, so this is going to give us 7 over 12. Now, the question says um, 1 over 3, uh, is it, and 2 over 3 of the remainder on food. Now, we need to get the remainder, which will be, we'll do 1 minus 7 over 12, which will be, 12 over 12 minus 7 over 12. So this is going to give us a um, 5 over 12. So this is actually the remainder. So this is remainder. You need to note this. Now, he spent 2 over 3 of the remainder on, f on food. So 2 over 3 um times 5 over 12 because it says of and you know of in maths must produce a multiplication sign so 2 over 3 or 5 over 12 so now in order to find this this 2 here is going to be 1 2 here will give us um that will be 6 so this will give us um 5 over 18 now it says what fraction of the money was saved so what fraction of the money of was saved? Now, this is actually what um, was spent on um, food, okay? Because he spent two over three of the remainder. Now, so what will be saved will be remainder minus food. Saved is going to be what? Remainder minus food. Now, this is going to be what? Five over 12 minus 5 over 18. Now, our LCM here is going to be 36. So, 36 into 12 will give us uh, 3. 3 times 5 will be 15 minus 8. 36 divided into 18 will be, um, that will give us uh, 2. 2 times 5 will be 10. So, this is going to give us uh, 5 over 36. And that's our final answer. So, the correct answer here is going to be what? A. Now, Question 29 says the cash price of a television set was 22,500 shillings. The higher purchase price was 10% more than the cash price. Nikta bought the television on higher purchase terms by paying a deposit and 15 equal monthly installments of 1155 shillings. How much deposit did she pay? Now, in order to solve this question, it says the higher purchase price was 10% more than the cash price. So let's get 10%. So that will be 10 over 100 times 22,500 over 1. Now this is going to give us uh, 2,250. So the higher purchase price will be 22,500 plus 2,250. Now this is going to give us 24,750. Now having established this, let's get the amount he has paid. So um, he paid um, 15 equal installments of 1155. Now when you multiply these two numbers, you are going to get 17,325. Okay, so now to get the first initial deposit, we will now do 24,750 minus 17,325. Now that's going to give us 7425. And our final answer here is going to be D. So I'll put my unit that's in shillings. Question 31 says six men can complete digging a shamba in 12 days. If two of these men fail to do the work, how many days, how many more days would it take the remaining men to complete the work? Now, six men can dig for 12 days now the first thing you need to do is identify what one man will do now for one man it will take him six times 12 days which will be what um six times 12 it's going to give us 72 days okay so then if 
four men now did the job. Four men will now be, that will be 72 days, all divided by four. So in order to do this, uh, four into seven, you have one, carry three, four into 32, you're going to get 18. So that's 18 days. Now, how many more days will it take the remaining men to complete the work? So all you need to do is uh, 18 days minus 12 days. So that will give you 18 days minus 12 days, and this is going to give you 6 days. So because two men dropped, it will take them extra 6 days to actually complete the work. So, like I said, as easy as that, you can solve so many of these questions. You can check out most of our videos. Don't forget to click the subscribe button because we are going to be solving several topic questions. Now, this particular question says, A cylindrical rod of diameter 14 cm has a height of 20 cm. What is the volume of the rod? Now, remember that the rod is a cylinder. So, the volume of cylinder is the same thing as pi r squared h now you've been given diameter to be what 14 cm and therefore radius will be diameter divided by 2 which is 14 divided by 2 which will give us what 7 cm now having gotten our radius we can now plug in our formula volume will be 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 that's 7 square times the height now the height is um, 20 cm so 7 will count to 7 so we have um, 22 times 20 times 7 so this is going to give us um, 4 4 0 times 7 and multiplying 440 by 7 is going to give us 3080 you put your unit cmq so the correct answer here it's going to be what c so if you think we are doing a great job don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button now one thing i want you to understand is we are going to be solving several topic questions on kcpe so this include questions like um, simple interest volumes of shapes um higher purchase questions and so many more so one thing i want you to do is hit the subscribe button like this video and when you click the subscribe there's a bell beside it hit that bell and select all notifications so that you can get plenty of these videos as we release them then you can prepare very well for your kcpe maths questions and pass excellently well and pass excellently well